Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form using the new Send Form action introduced in Freeway 6. First, you'll create three new pages. One will be the contact form, one will be a success page for when the form is successfully submitted, and one will be an error page for occasions that the email can't be sent. The success and error pages will just be plain pages with the appropriate text on them, so I set those up first since they're quick. Here's my success page. It thanks the visitor and says it will be in touch. And here's the error page apologizing for the trouble. It also has the email addresses that would have been emailed by the form. That way the visitor can send an email the old-fashioned way if the form doesn't work. Okay, once the success and error pages are done, it's time for the magic to happen on the contact form page. The first thing to do is to create the fields for the form. The form items can be selected by clicking and holding on the HTML button and choosing the appropriate item type. For things like name, email address, and subject, you'll want to choose the input field item type. For the message, which is normally more than just one line, you'll want to use the text area. And for the submit button, you'll use button. Checkboxes and radio buttons are good for when you need to offer a way to choose options, but that's a more advanced kind of form that will be discussed elsewhere. I've already laid out my form, so let me just paste it in here so we can proceed. When you're creating each form item, make sure to give it a name ID in the inspector that matches what will go in the field. This is how the entry will be labeled in the email that gets sent, so it's important to make sure that it makes sense. Just click in the field and type in the name. As you can see, my form doesn't have labels next to each field, and that's so I can show you a new option for form items in Freeway 6. You can now put placeholder text in an input field item type. Placeholder text will appear in the field and disappear automatically when the visitor starts typing in it. To use this option, first make sure that your page is set to output HTML5 on the Page Output Settings tab of the inspector. With the input field item selected, go to the Item Output Settings tab of the inspector and enter the text you want into the placeholder field. Now when you preview, you will see that the fields themselves are labeled. If you don't want to use placeholders, you can always just create a regular HTML text label to the side or above each field instead, like on this page. Another new feature in Freeway 6 is the ability to style form items. If you select your form item and go to the Item Appearance Settings tab of the inspector, you'll see that you can add a background and a border. Now when you preview, the form item will have those attributes. Once the form is set up, it's time to add the Send Form action so that it can actually be filled out and sent from your website. If there are other forms on the page, you should put your contact form items together in a container and apply the action to the container so that the forms play nicely together. Otherwise, you can apply the action to the page with the menu option Page, Page Actions, Send Form. Once the action is applied, open the Actions panel with Window, Actions. From here, you can configure your form and define the fields that correspond to each section. If your site is hosted on GoDaddy, be sure to check the box that says this site is hosted by GoDaddy. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. Recipient details is where the email should be sent to, so you would enter your email address in the recipient's address box here. Sender details is about the person filling out the form. With the send form action, you can use the fields that the users already filled in to automatically populate certain sections of the email. For example, you can take their name and have that appear as the sender name. There's two options here in case you have separate boxes for first name and surname. I only have one box, so I'm going to choose name field. You can do the same for their email address as well. So here I'm going to select Email field. My form also has a subject box, so I will use Subject field for Use item for subject. Finally, under Redirection, you can select your Error pages and Success pages. That's all that's required for the contact form. 
Now you just need to upload your form and check it out online in order to see it working. If you have multiple people that may need to be emailed but only want to have one contact form, you can also do that as well in Freeway 6. I'm going to move my actions panel out of the way. Here you will see that I have a menu list item. You can define all of the email addresses that may need to be emailed in that item. Simply create a new choice for each department that needs to be emailed. The choice will be the name that appears in the menu and the value should be their email address. Repeat this for any other departments or individuals that need to be emailed. Back in the action setting for the form, instead of entering the email address in the recipient address box, you will simply choose that field to populate it. Now if I preview my form, you will see that I can select where the email should go. Again though, keep in mind you will need to upload your site and preview it online in order to actually test the functionality of the form. That's it! That's how you can create a fillable contact form on your website using the new Send Form action in Freeway 6.